What's going on guys, it's Justin for Turn Informed. So Marshmallow, it just came out on all the new Nexus phones, and obviously the Nexus 6. And it's still not out for a lot of other Android phones, such as my Moto X that we have here. So we're stuck with Lollipop. So Lollipop um, has had a lot of battery drain issues in the past and memory leak issues. And so a lot of people had to figure out ways to get around that. There has been a lot of updates that have fixed quite a bit of the issues. But not everything's been fixed yet. So I'm going to give you guys a run through of how I save battery on my Android phones. And um, we're just going to get a better idea of what we can do to save battery throughout the day. So the first rule of thumb that I would point out is to monitor your, your brightness. Some people realize it's quite easy to uh, scroll up and down their brightness on Lollipop. And so they tend to drain their battery quicker and not really realize they're doing it. So my first recommendation would be to just monitor your brightness. Keep it down if you're not doing it too often, if you don't need it that bright that often. Um, the next rule of thumb I have for you guys is to scroll down and where the battery icon is, click on that, and you can actually get an idea of what's eating up your battery all day. You get percentages, and if you click on it, you can actually get an idea of how much battery or how much time it was being used throughout the day. And if you weren't using it that much, you can see that obviously things were being used in the background. So that's a good way to look at it and understand what is eating up your battery. Another thing we can do is if we go into settings and we click on apps, we can scroll over to running and that will give us an idea of apps that are running or using the RAM currently. Now RAM doesn't necessarily eat up all your battery, but what does is processing power. So usually these things that are running the most memory usually tend to run quite a bit of processing power in the background. So it's good to monitor these and see if it's being used a lot and if it is, then you can get a general idea that a lot of your battery is being used. So if we get into apps and what apps use a lot of, of uh, battery power would be the Facebook app. So what I first did when I noticed my batteries being drained a lot is I got rid of the Facebook app and I actually went into Chrome and I created a home screen icon uh, for our bookmark for Facebook. So I had, it's quite simple. You just have to go Google it. It'd take you two seconds and you can create a Facebook icon. So I just click on here and it pulls up my Facebook and it's pretty easy and it's really quick. It's, I'm not seeing too much of a drop in for, for performance and speed. Um, you don't lose access to notifications. You will still get your notifications as long as there's an, a tab up for Facebook. You still will receive your notifications for Facebook. So it's a great thing to have. I highly recommend getting the Facebook app and just creating a home screen icon. Another thing to do is to go into Instagram and if you click on your settings in Instagram and you get rid of all push notifications or notifications in general, as that is a good idea to also save a lot of battery. It's just these Facebook apps, the companies owned by Facebook tend to eat up a lot of battery and it's just a good idea to cut all the notifications down and obviously get rid of the Facebook app in my opinion. Another thing I wanted to point out is widgets, the use of widgets. A lot of people don't realize that their widgets are actually eating up a lot of their battery. So the best thing to do is to have less widgets and just what is your priority? What are the things that you want to have on your home screen have access to? Um, so right here I have HD widgets and I have my Bible widget. Those are the main two ones that I'll look at the most. This is Action Launcher 3 and Action Launcher 3 actually gives me access to scroll up and have access to my widgets just like that um, by swiping up on the app icon. Um, I like this feature because it, it makes my desktop more organized and I actually have seen a better battery life with this instead of with uh, Google Now Launcher or even Noble Launcher. I've seen better battery life um, You put setting my widgets up like this instead of on the actual home screen. If we go to the Play Store, there are plenty of uh, launchers that you can have access to that actually will save you a lot of battery life. Even Nova Launcher doesn't save as much as I think Action Launcher does, it still saves a bunch of battery. So that's definitely something to look into. Uh, Google Now Launcher, I have noticed it is more of a hog because it's actually using Google, access to Google, and doing that actually runs down your battery. But there are plenty of other uh, launchers in the Google Play Store that will save you plenty of battery life and make your phone last longer throughout the day. So I highly recommend just going through, checking different ones out. But the one I recommend using right now is Action Launcher 3. That's my main launcher that I use 98% of the time. Another good thing to do is to keep track of apps that are running in the background. So you have all these running in the background. These are all active apps and tabs running in the background. So it's a good idea to shut down all of these and make sure they're not running in the background. Because the more that's running in the background, the more the battery life is going to get eaten up. And one more little trick that a lot of people don't realize that they can do is actually if you go into settings and you scroll down to the bottom and you go to about phone and you click on, where is it? build number, click on a bunch of times, you get it active, I think it's seven times, and then you'll have develop, developer options open, and if you scroll down 
you can actually get uh, control of your transition animations uh, and all the different animations that run on your Android phone uh, when you click on home or you're clicking on an app and, and the animations to pop up. So you can actually make less than the time down and performance uh, doesn't change at all but actually everything is a lot quicker and it's seen up less better because the transitions aren't as slow. So I highly recommend going through and changing those. Um, you'll get a faster phone and you might even save a little bit of battery life. Uh, one thing a lot of people don't realize is uh, all these things actually, these uh, different settings that can be active throughout the day can actually, actually eat up your battery life. Um, if you are not using Bluetooth, I currently am though because I'm wearing my Pebble, um, but if you are not using Bluetooth, I would turn that off. If you are not close to a Wi-Fi and you are not using it, I would turn those off. If you guys do not know, uh, if these are both active, they're both constantly looking for a connection. I'd highly recommend turning those off if you guys want to save a lot of battery. Another thing is GPS or location. Um, if you feel like you want to save quite a bit of battery and you don't really need it, uh, access for location on your app at that time, um, you can turn that off. Um, that will eat up quite a bit of battery location services will eat up your battery. So that's my recommendation for all of those. This is the best way I've seen hours of better battery life doing these things that I've done. And then if you guys have any tips, put it in the comments down below. Um, thanks for watching guys. I hope you liked the video. Please like it if you did. And I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.